Ladies and gentlemen, the most freakiest thing happened to me just now. Um, I'm coming down the stairs to shoot this video, okay? And Yash is with me. So Yash goes first. I'm almost downstairs to the basement, okay? And I hear this voice right in my back. And it's a lady's voice speaking in English. And it just kind of sounded like, I know what you're looking for. I went right directly to my wall, the red wall of my stairs, and just called my wife. And I'm like, he yelled at her, Jamie! She's like, well, what happened? What happened? And I'm like, this is what happened. And um, I have an idea as to what is happening because this amazing, amazing person um, well, I won't jinx it. I'll, I'll tell you guys later. I'll tell you guys later, not right now. But anyway, okay, so let's talk about um, Jupiter, Venus, and Ketu conjunction. And what happens when Jupiter, Venus, and Ketu are conjunct in your horoscope together? And as always, if you do not know where your Jupiter's place, where your uh, Venus is placed, where your Ketu is placed, all your other planetary placements, for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, Astrology, Conjunction, and Aspects of the Speed of Light. And I've had some freak accidents happen in, in the basement. Um, actually, I caught one live. You should, I don't know which video it was. I think, yeah, it was the... Um, Abhishek Nakshatra. Type that on YouTube. And if my video comes up, watch that. It says on the video title, something freaky happened. So you'll witness that. And, and, and I'm just experiencing that here in the basement. So who knows, man, what's going on. But anyway, uh, so Jupiter, Venus, Ketu conjunction. This is a conjunction that really uh, makes a person inclined towards finding a spouse who is highly educated, highly spiritual, highly intuitive, and somebody who relates to the native, whoever has this conjunction, on a very philosophical, spiritual plane. And obviously this is going to differentiate from sign to sign. But this is the person who is very fixated on the type of spouse that they need, that they want. This person with this conjunction is really going after a spouse who is like a teacher in their life, who's like a, who can become a teacher in their own life, who can teach them, who can show them the knowledge that they're seeking. It's because see, their Venus is attached to Jupiter. Okay, and Ketu. Venus is the smallest planet compared to Jupiter, the size of the Jupiter. Okay, scientifically, that we know of, Venus is this far smaller planet. And so this is why Venus feels like it needs to get this knowledge of this big giant that it's sitting across. It feels intimidated by Jupiter. So it feels like if I have this knowledge of Jupiter, I'm going to feel really comfortable and passionate about life. So what happens is this Venus really gets influenced by Jupiter. So this person, whenever they look for love, they're actually looking for something Jupiterian. They're looking for somebody who's very well educated, somebody who's highly philosophical, highly um, educated and mature in their way. And then Ketu comes into play with this conjunction. Ketu is that energy Ketu is the significator of moksha, liberation. Ketu is your past. Ketu is your detachment from the world. Ketu is your sixth sense. The five senses that we can relate to and the sixth sense that I just told you about that happened to me on the stairs. That's what Ketu is. And 
when Ketu is connected with these two planets, shows that a person, whenever they run into the person that they're going to be relating to in a marriage, in a relationship, there's always going to be some sort of a past life connection with them. Whoever you end up marrying, whoever you end up being with, there is this connection that you may have had in the, with this person in the past life. Especially if Venus is connected with Ketu in Navamsha chart, the D9 chart in Vedic astrology, then most definitely. And also what this does, it makes a person be very loving, be very open to ideas, very, very open to understanding things in life. When they love, they want to love, love in the biggest way. When they give their emotions in romance, they want to give it in the biggest way. Because remember, Jupiter is expansion. So Jupiter is expanding the quality of Ketu and Venus. But then what happens is, the most awkward thing that happens is that these people can also retrieve back at any given moment. Like they will give everything, but then suddenly, if let's say you're dating them, and you're in the beginning, beginning stage of dating, they're like, yes, I want to date you. I want to know everybody who's with you, who is around you. I want to take this seriously. And the other person like, wow, okay, so this person's really wanting to just expand their love towards me. Then suddenly they will not text or call. They will become quite reserved. Because of the fact with this, the thing is the three qualities or the three gunas in astrology are coming together. The Tamasic Guna of Ketu, the Rajasic Guna of Venus, and the Satvic Guna of Jupiter. So Tamasic is a quality that protects, that is able to put a hard shell because it doesn't want to suffer in life. Tamasic is simply the energy that up makes a human a hunter, makes them be on alert that, oh my God, I'm in the middle of a jungle. Maybe there's a bear or tiger that might attack me or my family. That's that Tamasic fear. Then you have Venus, the Rajasic planet, which is about pleasure, the five senses. To, under to just really get the five senses and just indulge in them. But then you also have the Satvic Jupiter, which understand things on a very pure level, which understand things on a very spiritual level. So when these three qualities are together, it's like a mixed baggage that comes with this person. You will deal with the good, bad, and the ugly with this uh, situation, with this conjunction. And this is not about the person that you run into, it's about who you are as a person. So when you get into a relationship, you get into it. You're expanding. You're enjoying the pleasure. Then you'll retreat back. You suddenly feel scared and fearful. Oh my God, I think we're getting too close too quickly. And then you'll come back saying, no, I think my love is pure for you and I just want to be with you. So with the good, there are always the bad. When there's bad, there sometimes is ugly. So it's always going to be there, but... I, the one thing that you can determine to see which planet is gaining the more strength there is to see the sign placement. So if let's say this conjunction is occurring in Cancer, Sagittarius, you know, Pisces, then you know Jupiter will have the upper hand and Venus will have a very good handle. You know, especially in Taurus, Libra, Pisces, this Venus will be very strong towards understanding and dealing with relationships. But let's say if this conjunction occurs in Scorpio, this conjunction occurs in Virgo, Aries, then there's going to be more fear towards wanting to be attached to something. There's going to be this fear of just, oh, I think I'm too close, I'm going to get hurt, maybe just back off now while the other person may actually want to be with you for the rest of their life. Yet you just feel like this is just getting too much. I don't think I can handle this. So that tamasic nature of Ketu 
just destroys or just like waters the party of Venus and Jupiter. Because if Venus and Jupiter are together, then it's the Rajasic and Sattvic quality, meaning that you want the pleasure in a relationship of philosophy, spirituality, because it, it, it feeds your five senses, especially your mind. But the Ketu is detachment. So Ketu will always be that playing the role that, ah, you don't want to get too close to these things. Let's just retreat back a little bit, especially in Aquarius. If this conjunction occurs with Ketu in Sastabishak Nakshatra, Venus in Sastabishak Nakshatra, I mean, these people are just like any given moment can just retreat back in their hole and you may not hear from them again after the third or fourth date. So it is a conjunction which is on a quite a higher spiritual plane, but at the same time, you have to understand the sign placement of this and especially the house placement of this, which will show you how they feel about relationship. Are they very fearful of it? Are they very critical of it? Are they looking at it on a professional level? Or they're looking at it from a spiritual level or a dharmic level? They'll tell you what is the tendency of them to stay in a relationship for a long time. Okay? So guys, this is my analysis of Venus, Jupiter and Ketu conjunction. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. Again, if you want to know where your Venus and Sun and or Jupiter and Ketu are placed, all your other planet placement, details, books, reports, consultations, for that, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow.